Watch what you bet here, Teddy. Big night tonight. And I'm excited. We don't have that long layoff. We don't have four days between games. Let's get right back out on the court today. Game four in the Bay Area with big consequences. The Warriors, Teddy, as we saw as high as five and a half yesterday, now dipping to around minus four and a half total of 215 money line split plus 169 minus 199. 9 p.m. tonight on ABC. As we know, Durant out, Clay Thompson in. But the question here, Teddy, what Clay Thompson are we getting tonight? Well, what, so there's so many things to talk about for tonight's game. I want to start with series price, which was basically a pick em after game three, and now we're seeing the Raptors taking the wise guy money like they have all series, and Toronto now the favorite uh, to win the NBA Finals, which makes sense. They're up 2-1, to one, and they have two more games at home uh, if the series were uh, to go to seven. When we look at what happened in game three, all right, we saw a Warriors team playing a bunch of guys who haven't been on the floor together. Okay, the starting rotate, the starting, uh, they started Livingston, Curry, Cousins, Iguodala, and Green. Those three, oh, oh, that quintet had a combined total of 16 regular season minutes and one minute in the postseason together. It showed. Then you see Jordan Bell getting major minutes and Alfonso McKinney getting major minutes and, minutes, and Jonas Jerebko getting major minutes and, you know, Andrew Bogut coming back from the dead and getting major minutes. That's not Golden State. It's saying Golden State on the uniform, but the team on the floor is not, they look like last year's Cavs. They look like a team that is banged up and playing on, you know, I mean, Curry couldn't play any better. Well, he had a couple of bricks, but Curry played pretty darn well. And now they're saying, oh, Thompson's going to be back. If he couldn't go Wednesday and was fighting for Friday, can he get the job done here? But for as much as I'm worried about Golden State, tonight's game, in my mind, is everything to do with the Toronto Raptors. Okay. Does Toronto have the go for the jugular mentality? Do they have the, you know, we've got this team on the ropes. Let's kill them right here. Because the Raptors win tonight. They win this series. Is that mentality in them? We don't know. We haven't seen it. They haven't been in this spot. Maybe, but if they exhale off a game three win collectively, we, we can expect Golden State to bring something tonight, especially with Thompson uh, on the floor. And, of course, the, the Raptors did something the other night that nobody does. You know, the third team in NBA Finals history, the history of the Finals, to shoot 50% from the floor, 40% from three-point range, and 90% from the free throw line. Even if they play a great game, they're not going to match those numbers. Is that going to be enough? I'm not in a rush to lay with Golden State here. Are you? Teddy, conspiracy theories. Put mine to rest here, right? So we had the embarrassment of Golden State blowing a 3-1 lead. Are they purposely trying to get down 3-1 to make that comeback, Teddy? Put this put this theory to sleep for me, please. Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, if they had a choice, they would rather not be down 3-1 and have to win three in a row, including two of them in Toronto. That being said, we look at the referee assignments tonight, and there is a notable homer ref <laughs> on the uh, – uh, on the slate for uh, Game 4, a uh, ref who is where the home teams have done very, very well when he's been calling fouls. There you go. A little outside angle from Teddy Covers right there. Let's keep it moving in baseball here. How about this key AL series tonight? Rays and the Red Sox. And we were punching up the script a little bit earlier today, checking out SBR to odds, Teddy. Did have that line around 135-140. It's crashed down there. We're sitting the Red Sox favorite about 116 to 114, depending on where you're shopping at. A total of 10, 710 tonight, live from Fenway in Boston. Rays come into this game 37 and 23. Those Red Sox, Teddy, 33 and 29. Chirinos versus Porcello. Yeah, money for Tampa. I believe it has to do with JD Martinez. JD Martinez uh, left yesterday with back spasms for Boston. It doesn't look like he's going to go. The quote from Alex Cora. Uh, hopefully it's nothing and he'll be able to play for the weekend, but it's probably going to be a tough flight uh, for him on the way home. Uh, and, of course, there's a doubleheader tomorrow, and Boston just had a bullpen game yesterday, you know. So Porcello's got to go, you know, six, seven deep. And he had gone at least six innings in seven straight games. He got bombed <laughs> uh, in his last outing against uh, the Yankees. This is a Red Sox team that has done well when stepping down in class. They have not done nearly as well when stepping up in class. Now, the Rays, you know, just a game and a half out of the Yankees, they kind of had a rough uh, week, but bounced back with a couple of wins against the Tigers. Kevin Cash, manager, quote, we feel a heck of a lot better after having two wins for sure. And they got Tommy Pham back after he missed five games uh, with a calf injury. He's an impact player for that Rays lineup.
Snakes on a plane, Teddy. Well, I mean, you do have to take a plane to get to Toronto here. So the Diamondbacks are going to head north to Toronto today. Blue Jays favored by about minus 127 and the total of eight and a half. The interesting part here, Diamondbacks 31 and 32 on the season. The uh, Blue Jays 23 and 39. Merrill Kelly, who I actually bet against with my kryptonite team, the Mets, and he shut them down easily. We'll see if he could try to do the same on the road here in an American League ballpark. Going to be Kelly versus Stroman tonight. Yeah, and two teams that are not in particularly good form, you know, uh, Arizona's lost 12 of their last 18. Uh, although they did, they had Thursday off, and they had a walk-off on Wednesday. They needed, you know, uh, manager Tori Lovello after the game. I think everyone that's sitting here that's a fan of the Diamondbacks understands how important that game was for us, especially since we've been walking through some very lean times. We've been battling through some injuries. We sent a crew out there today that gave everything they had and did enough to win a baseball game. It was a tremendous way to finish it, and it's one of those games like you feel like will push you in a very, very positive direction. That may be manager talk, but it's a really good quote. <laughs> you know, that's a bet on quote. Uh, you know, the Jays came away just coming off their first series win since April. Okay, taking two out of three against the Yanks, but of course, that a chance to sweep. Didn't get the job done. They lost uh, yesterday. Although, Charlie Montoyo's quote, overall, the last three days, we looked a lot better at the plate. They had to go to their closer Thursday. We took two out of three. It was a good Series, but of course, it's the Jays team that's been every bit as bad uh, as Arizona, if not worse. Nine and 25 in their last 34, three and 11, their last 14, even with Stroman on the hill. I ain't laying a price with Toronto.